Hi, this is Jeremy and welcome to our video series about introduction into IT and OT. With me is Christian. Yeah, hi Jeremy. Glad to be back here with you. Yeah, um, and today we're going to talk about operational technology, OT. Yeah, but before we dive into OT, let's quickly recap what we talked about during our last podcast series. So we went in, into IT and uh, into the t topics of IT. So what are the typical responsibilities just to, for a quick catch up for those who haven't listened to, to the recent podcast. So IT, it was all about setting up different hardware and software components to a network. And with that, everything that comes to it, so updates, IT security, as well as implementing and configure, configurating and managing business solutions such as automation. So, and then we ask ourselves, what is important in IT? Important in IT are quick development cycles and agility, scalability, such as that we recently discussed with um, the, the architectures, for example, using Docker and Kubernetes as technologies for a microservice architecture that is highly scalable. And with that, also the user experience, with, uh, which is probably the most important topic in the, the world of IT to have a good user experience so that the end user actually is using the IT components and the, the technology. But in the OT world, it looks a little bit different. So now let's have a look into uh, operational technology. And the other question for you, Jeremy, what is OT and where does it differ from IT? Yeah, so operational technology, OT, it comes from the same source as IT. Um, so uh, somewhere in the 70s, it was all, or 60s, it was all computer science. But then these both worlds uh, started to split up. And we have now the IT. Uh, but somewhere around the 80s, stuff like PLCs came up. And, and now we have the OT. And the OT is the hardware and software to manage, monitor, and control industrial operations. So it's all about, you have a production line, how to monitor it, how do the robots move, how do the machines work, to actually control the process from moving like, a, like some components on a conveyor belt to having like a huge pharmaceutical plant and producing some complex biological products. It's all OT. And this is what basically keeps the machines in factories running. And you also ask, what are some of the, the differences to, to IT? I think what we, uh, so, so first the vendors are totally different. Um, so we're not talking about Microsoft here. We're not talking about AWS or Amazon. We're talking here about companies like Schneider Electric, Siemens, Omron, Beckhoff, Honeywell, National Instruments, all based on where you where you're sitting on the continent. You have your on the continents on which continent you are on. Everyone has their kind of their own uh, own vendors there. And what's important here is kind of the the opposite that than IT. What's really important in OT is reliability and safety because you control the production machines and if something happens or if something fails, the machine can explode and can cause damages to humans and property. So you really want to ensure that the machine is safe and reliable because you don't want to have to get the operator hurt. Then maintainability and standards. In IT, typically if you say, okay, this is going to run like five years or this is a long time and in OT, Machines run 20 to 30 years. Uh, so right now you have to plan that if you have a machine that it will be running for 20 to 30 years, sometimes even 50 plus years. So you need to have maintainability. Uh, you need to maintain it. And for this, you, uh, there are a lot of standards. There are, and then we come to the topic of certifications. There are like legally required certifications for safety and reliability. Each, each country has their own. In the European Union, it's the machine conformity, um, like CE. And uh, you also have optional certificates for reliability, basically saying this is what the really large players are giving you. Hey, if you buy this product, we guarantee you, you get parts for it for the next 10 to 20 years. Uh, and this is what's, what's important here. You build it up, it needs to run, 
you want your your beer to be to be brewed you want your water bottles to be to bottled or your medicine to continue to be, be produced and what's on the opposite uh, on the other side what's of lesser importance user experience like ot programmers they're not trained to supply like a quality ui experience and also because all the operators you you're saying them hey you have to use this machine it's kind of different than in IT where people can just say, say, oh, I don't want to use the program. Of course, user experience would help. I mean, if you ever looked at, at an HMI, it's they're awful. Uh, I, I just wanted to say that uh, looking at those components in the, in the industry, it doesn't look very nice, but uh, most of the time the people working with that are trained on that kind of thing. But for them, it's more important that it works and not how it looks like. Huh? Yeah. And also when developing it, what's not important are quick development cycles, because this means you might miss out on some important safety elements. So you have a lot of procedures just for preventing quick development cycles, which are really helpful, like failure mode and effects analysis, like taking a really look, dissecting the machines and understanding what could go wrong and how can we mitigate it before you even build the machine, hopefully before you even build the machine. Um, and then also the third point, what's less important, OT things, if you compare it to IT, typically things a little bit smaller in scale. So. The machines, they are not designed to be connected to the internet. IT security is, it's very, very important because now the machines are connected, but they were not designed, designed for that. 20 years ago, you were happy. It was even magic that you had all these machines connected and now they need to talk via the internet. It's something that was until now of lesser importance. And to really summarize it up, now in OT, Nobody wants to build a nuclear reactor using the agile move fast, break things principle. So I often hear like IT people, um, hey, OT, they're so slow, they're, whatever, can we, can't we just drop in tool ABC? No, you cannot because it is, it's important because you don't want to have this tool break then in 10 years or have a tool that uh, breaks the machine and then someone gets hurt. So OT is kind of the opposite they, they come from the same direction from computer science but kind of the opposite than than it and now these both worlds need to talk with each other and this is what we're currently talking about in this series to make make each side understand the other and to take a look how how both worlds can work together and perfectly work together because as as you had described from an IT perspective, that's probably a nightmare if you see IT security and old machines running uh, running software that is basically not secure. But directly, as we saw also with uh, some of some of the customers, where there was a machine worth probably over a million euros and Windows XP running on it, which is not supported anymore. So yeah. the machine is directly connected to the internet. So from an IT perspective, that's a, that's a nightmare too and should be fixed. But from an OT perspective, they don't really care, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'm really looking forward for the um, upcoming episodes with you to dive deeper into the OT sector. I think that's uh, something that uh, most of the listeners probably are not that familiar with since uh, mostly they focus more on the IT side. But uh, within this concept of IIT, it's really interesting to bring both worlds together and also to to get all the advantages out of uh, both OT and IT. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the future discussion with you, Jeremy. And I would say let's, let's dive into it next week. Yeah, thank you for listening. Ciao.